Hey yo, bored out of my mind check. <laughs> Welcome back to part two of the Boredom 101 series. As promised, I put together a boredom blessing challenge for you to do over your spring break. A lot of these challenges are inspired by my talk with Lydia Muingo in this video right here, which by the way, if you haven't watched, pause right now and go watch that. So now that you're back, let's kick off the 10 day boredom busting challenge. Starting off with number one, creating your own positivity jar. I love this idea that Lydia has. And if you're anything like me, there are tons of things that you wanna do right now, but can't because of the pandemic. So grab your favorite pad of sticky notes and a jar so that you can make plans for when the pandemic is over. Because remember that this is temporary and you're gonna get to do them sooner than later. I have a jar. And I have my CVT Kids News notepad. I'm gonna brainstorm some ideas of what I wanna do when COVID is over. First things first, I think just having friends over at my house, holidays and like my birthday, I'm gonna fold that and put it in the jar. Number two, the random object game. When me and Lydia were talking about the benefits of boredom, we were talking about how this is a chance to tap into your creative side. So challenge the members of your household by assigning them a random object of your choice and challenging them to create a game out of it. I just got this off of my desk and I already have an idea. What you do is you put it right here and you try to throw rings onto it. Let's just pretend that that went on. There we go. <laughs> Number three, a feelings journal. Me and Lydia talked about how when people say they are bored, it can sometimes be something else, like feeling sad, anxious, overwhelmed. So grab a notebook and start tracking your feelings day to day so you can really see what you're feeling and have it down on paper. Number four, movie workout challenge. Put on your favorite movie and choose a couple words or actions that characters will do that will correspond to an activity like jumping jacks or push-ups. Can you guess what movie I chose? So we are watching Harry Potter. Every time someone says Harry, we're gonna do five jumping jacks. Every time someone casts the spell, we're gonna do five sit-ups. And every time someone says bloody, we're gonna do a push-up. Okay, now, 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 go. Five jumping jacks, one. Number five, a mindfulness activity. A skill that we can develop to help our brains combat boredom is being mindful. Being mindful means being right here in the present moment, not in the past, not in the future, just right here, real time. A quick activity that you can try is the five senses activity. Look around for five things you can see, four things you can touch, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and one thing you can taste. Doing this will help ground you in your current surroundings and the current moment. Number six, spilling the tea on the family tree. Gather your parents and a big piece of paper to see how far back you can go into your family tree while also gathering interesting facts about each member. I want the tea on my great great grandmother. Come on, spill it. Number seven, a vision board. If you're on TikTok, you have probably seen things about manifestation and manifesting the life that you want. Why not take your time to do just that? Create your own vision board of every... Let me do that again. Create your own vision board so that you can... Oh my God. Create your own vision board with everything that you hope to accomplish, have, or be surrounded by in your life. Number eight, a Zoom Bake Off. Since we can't hang out indoors with friends right now, why not spice up your regular Zoom calls with a little bit of a Bake Off? You can even create a theme for your Bake Off and then vote on whose looks the tastiest. Even if you're a terrible baker, you can still do this challenge. Just make it look good. Who's gonna know? Nobody. Look how good mine looks already. Number nine a closet purge. Breaking news, negativity is not cute. And I also bet you, you have some not cute clothes in your closet. Go in there and purge some clothes. A 
Last but not least, number 10, a fancy picnic. Grab your favorite snacks and drinks and treat yourself because you deserve it. Depending where you live in the country, you can do this indoors with your family or outdoors socially distanced with some of your friends. So there you have it, the 10 day boredom busting challenge. You can check out this calendar that's downloadable on cbckidsnews.ca so you can track your progress along the way. If you take any cool pictures and videos while trying out the challenge, make sure to email them to us at cbckidsnews at cbc.ca. For CBC Kids News, I'm Alexia Sabo.